Kenya is set to receive its first batch of COVID-19 vaccine tonight as the fight against coronavirus intensifies. This progress has been met with mixed reactions from the members of the public and human rights activist groups. While addressing the media today, Haki Africa, Sisters for Justice, Usawa na Haki, and the Institute for Land, Governance and Human Rights official voiced some of the issues and concern forwarded to them by the public. Organizations, we are concerned about the integrity of the vaccination exercise and whether indeed the essential service providers will be prioritized. Information is scanty on whether the elderly will also be included in the first round. As we all know, the elderly are the most vulnerable to COVID-19. Prioritization of counties and hotspots is also not clear. It is also not clear whether it is mandatory or compulsory to take the vaccine, even for the essential service providers. More so, we are concerned that the corrupt including politicians and the wealthy may interfere in the distribution exercise to unfairly benefit early on. Early on, Cambry was said to be testing the vaccine for approval. Those results have not been made public. Or if they have, at least we have not been informed about the same. Uh, chanjo hizi na baada yake wanatuambia bado tutalipa ndo tuweze kupata chanjo hizi. Kwani ilo ushuru tunautoa sisi si inafaa kuwa ina, ina, inasimamia malipo yale kwa nini tena inarudi tuingie tena kwenye mifuko yetu tuweze kulipa chanjo zile. Kuna 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 awareness sababu uwezi kuja kupiana madawa ama kupiana chanjo bila kuhamasishwa ama kuelimishwa ku, ku, ku je hizi dawa pengine kama vile usaina amesema zina madhara gani ama pengine zisasaidia vipi to Simon Kazungu who is a representative from the Institute for Land Governance and Human Rights the 1 million doses expected to arrive today are just a drop in an ocean tumepokea hizi habari za kwamba chanjo zitaingia usiku wa leo na kibinafsi nimeshangaa manake mbona chanjo milioni moja peke yake Hizi ni chanjo za kujapatiwa wananchi kwa sababu ya janga la corona ama ni chanjo zinaletwa ili kufanyia majaribio. According to some media reports, pregnant women and children will be exempted from receiving their corona jab, a report that has been criticized by Naila Abdallah of the Sisters for Justice. Uh, hili swala la kwamba wanawake wajawazito na watoto wasiweze kudungwa hiyo inaleta mtafaruku ambapo tunaamini kisaikolojia mwanamke akiwa na mimba yuko katika high risk of each ama any virus inaweza 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 muingia na mtoto mdogo immune system pia yake kondo iko kidogo iweje hawa wawili wameweza kutengwa katika swala hili zima la la vaccination sasa ikiwa hawapigwi chanjo basi ni njia gani sisi tutakazozichukua kuhakikisha na wao wako salama with COVID millionaires' ghosts still hovering over us, the integrity and credibility of the COVID vaccine rollout is on the test. Human rights activists are making an appeal to the government to come up with strict legislation to deal with those who will go against the rollout program. Tunataka kuona serikali ikipitisha stiff penalties kwa mtu yoyote, hasa wanasiasa na wale ambao watatumia nyadhifa zao kimakosa wachukuliwe hatua kali za kisheria ikiwa watakiuka ule mpangilio ambao umewekwa kuhusu uh, haya madhara kama tulivyoona katika while giving the final remarks on behalf of the four organizations present Hussein Halid expressed their support for the COVID-19 vaccine but emphasizes that sensitization is of essence sisi kama mashirika tunaunga mkono um, chanjo hii ifanyike na wakenya waweze kupata uh, hii vaccine ili waweze kujikimu na waweze kuliangazia hili janga tunataka ufahamu ya madhara haya yako katika watu wa aina gani hasa vyombo vya habari tafadhali muhamasishe wananchi 
tuweze kuwaita hawa experts kwenye televisheni, kwenye redio, tuwapate kwenye magazeti na kwingineko ili hizi habari zisambaye kila mahali. Watu wajue madhara na faida ya hii vaksini. Reporting for Al Shifa TV, my name is Muyonga Catherine.